Welcome back, this is Rito here with another Calamity Endgame Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Exo Gladys. This is an Endgame short sword, and it shoots out these awesome projectiles. It can only shoot horizontally, so that's one thing to note, but it does home in on enemies as you can see right there. So I've put down these super dummies. These will actually show what the weapon does against enemies. So you can see it homes in pretty aggressively and then shoots all these extra attacks. And so it's actually quite powerful. You don't really need to aim at all. It will just track your enemy. If there's no enemies around, it will just shoot straight side to side. Whoa, and when you do a direct hit, it rains down all these cool <laughs> energy beams. The stats that I'm showing with everything I've got equipped is 10,111 melee damage, 98% critical strike chance, very fast speed, insane knockback. It says, do not underestimate the power of the Exo Blade's younger brother. Striking an enemy with the blade makes you immune for a short amount of time and summons comets from the sky, which is what we were seeing earlier. It fires a rainbow orb that summons sword beams on hit. And I've got it rerolled to legendary. So let's real quickly try out single target DPS for this sword. Right here we're seeing 340,000 single target approximately. Let's see if we can get a little bit higher than that. So we're getting close to 400, but we haven't broke 400 yet. Okay, like three, 380,000 was the highest I saw. Now with direct melee, we're up to 500 easy. We're breaking 500 consistently here. So that's pretty dang powerful for the gear I've got equipped. I'm really not optimized for damage, but I am, you know, equipped with endgame gear. So let's just drop a few so we can see how this performs against a large group of enemies. So let's do it from a distance first. And we're hitting about 750,000, 800,000. And now let's get up close. We're already up to 1.8 million, so that's pretty dang powerful. <laughs> let's see how this performs on a boss. So let's go ahead and summon Providence. Wow. So it is extremely powerful. This is actually not a post-Supreme Calamitous weapon. This is something you can get after Yaren. So that's very powerful for an item that's obtainable before Calamitous. And let's try it on the Cosmic Worm real quick. And I've lost the Cosmic Worm. <laughs> I think it's over here. I missed some of the head hits, but we'll see if we can get the tail. We don't even need to get the tail. Pretty dang powerful weapon there. That was a good clear for pre-Calamitous. I want to try this out on the post-Yarn Solar Eclipse to just show how powerful it is. Because these enemies are pretty tanky, and you can see nothing is even getting close to me. I really love the look of this. And I, th I think I would actually prefer this over the Exoblade. I'm not 100% on that. I'd have to try them out side by side a little bit more. Because the Exoblade, you have to aim a lot more. So this against Supreme Calamitous could be pretty sweet. You just basically just auto swing the entire fight and dodge his attacks. So I would highly recommend getting this weapon. Whoa, that was a cool visual effect there. Let's take a look at how the Exo Gladys is crafted. Normally I use the recipe browser to show how to craft this weapon, but I'm just going to show the first stage of it and then I'm going to have to go to the wiki and show you the rest because it's such a long crafting tree. I think it will make more sense. Here we are on the Calamity wiki and you can see there's those three swords I was talking about. You actually have to scroll for this recipe. You have the Galileo Gladys, which can be crafted from the Exodium clusters, which can be crafted from Lunar Fragments and Luminite. And then you need Ruinous Souls and Luminil. Very simple recipe if you're endgame. And then, of course, Auric Tesla Bars, which we've already discussed. And then the Cosmic Shiv, 
which can be crafted from Dark Sun fragments and the Elemental Shiv, which has its own huge crafting tree, the Cosmolite Bar, Phantoplasm, and the Nightmare Fuel Endothermic Energy. That will get you your Cosmic Shiv. And then you need the Lucrecia Sword, which can be crafted from Souls of Light, Souls of Night, Cores of Calamity, Bars of Life, and that's going to be it. The main thing is the Elemental Shiv. So let's actually go to the Elemental Shiv crafting tree really quick. This one is also a big recipe, as you can see. You need to have the Terra Shiv, Luminite, and Galactia Singularities. Those are pretty easy to get after Moon Lord. The Terra Shiv is very much like the Terra Blade. It requires the True Excalibur Short Sword, True Knight's Saber, and you craft those in a very similar way. You also need Living Shards. It's got the Corruption Crimson Sword, plus the Jungle, um, the Fire, and the Dungeon-based Muramasa equivalent of Short Swords. So that's how you craft the Exo Gladys, this awesome weapon. I highly recommend crafting it. It's just a really powerful weapon at this tier. I love that it provides immunity when you strike an enemy for a short time. Very cool, because if you're auto striking and you're you know fighting a boss and they do contact damage, you're going to hit them and it's going to give you that immunity. That'll be it for this weapon showcase. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, I do Terraria Let's Plays. I'm currently working on a bow only calamity revengeance mode let's play so if you want to check that out that is on my channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time